I'm Liat from knitfreedom.com. Here's how to do the special heel flap on my toe-up socks with a heel flap. Um, I've just got a little swatch here to show you just the heel part, and we're going to go quickly because you have probably learned most of these techniques separately on Knit Freedom. I'm going to do the whole heel, the turn heel, and the uh, and start to do the heel flap all in one video. So here we go, following along with your pattern. I've got 32 stitches on my heel needle right here. Um, I'm doing the small size, even though it's giant, right? I'm using big yarn. Um, so we're just going to follow along with the pattern. And I'm going to do this continental style. I've got demonstrations American style on knitfreedom.com as well. So we're going to knit 21 and then wrap and turn. Okay, and I've got um, videos on how to count stitches quickly, how to knit quickly continental style how to wrap and turn, and we're just going to be combining all of this together. I've got videos on how to knit backwards, which I'm going to be showing you. Alright, so if I've got 32 stitches on the heel needle, I'm going to knit until I have, what, 11 left or something like that, right? Let's see, is this 21? 5, 10, 15, 20, I did 22. Knit 21, we're going to do a wrap and turn. And then we're going to purl 10. There's our wrap and turn, and we've done five, ten, time to wrap and turn. Let's make sure that you can see this. There we go. That's all there is to it. Now we're going to knit right up to the stitch right before the last wrap stitch. We'll be able to see what that looks like. We'll knit over to it. So we're basically working across the middle 12 stitches or so. We're not, and we're not you know, increasing or decreasing at all. We're going to have the same number of stitches the whole time because we're just wrapping and turning. OK, until the stitch before the wrap stitch. OK, I went too far. There it is. There's the wrap stitch. Here's the stitch before the wrap stitch. So wrap and turn. That easy. So now we don't have to count anymore. We just look for the wraps. And there's the wrap on this side. See, it's kind of hard to see with the pearl bumps, but because it sort of holds this stitch close to this one, um, you can see that this is the one right here. So now here's the stitch before the wrap stitch, so it's time to wrap and turn. Okay. So we're going to continue this until there are four unwrapped stitches between the wrap stitches, and it's going to go pretty fast. Okay, here we are. Wrap stitch, wrap stitch. We're going to wrap and turn. This time, I'm going to go ahead and purl backwards instead of turning. I do have a video on how to do that in the Toe Up Socks ebook. It's right here as well. This is just nicer that you don't have to uh, turn your work. It's usually good just for short rows. Did I go too far? No. Okay, wrap and turn. Basically get this yarn and put it in the front. There we go, and then we can knit again. See how convenient that is? Let's start counting too, right? One, two unwrap stitches, three, four, five. We are getting close to the end already. Uh, let's see, wrap and turn. We're going to be purling backwards. One, two, three, four. That's 
it right there. Whoops, let's say we want to wrap and turn, get that to the front. Good, so now we've got four unwrapped stitches between the wrap stitches. There are the wraps, wraps, four unwrapped stitches. Okay, so now we need to knit across and pick up the wraps as we go stopping once we get to the last wrap, like that. I have videos on how to do this too, but here's a quick one. We just need to get everything all together like this. There we go. Looking good. I'm going to see it slower. There we go. Now stop. Okay. Now, knit across. Okay, we're going to turn our work. Slip one. This is where we're sort of almost getting the heel flap ready. See, we're like halfway through. This is how fast it takes to turn the heel. All right, there's our first wrap stitch. So I have a video on how to do this, but here's a quickie. Come from the front, bring that purl stitch over, and purl those two together. Just check and make sure that looks good, which it does. That's what we want coming from the front. Bring it over. And if you're following the Knit Freedom blog, you'll know that I did a video, especially on this, a couple weeks ago. I come out with a new free video or pattern every single week. So if you're not a subscriber, you should be. There we go. Okay, now stop. Good, we are, let's just check, make sure we have the right number of stitches. There should be 10 on the left-hand needle. Five, ten. Oh, good, there are. And there should still be 32 stitches total on the heel, which is right here. Right? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, plus ten. So 32. Sorry, we're still good, but we made this little pocket for the bottom of the heel. All right, so now let's go ahead and turn. It's time to work this heel flap, and it's actually only called a heel flap just because it looks like a heel flap. It doesn't flap around. We don't have to pick up stitches. It's just awesome. Okay, so we're going to work along. This, this pattern is called the slip stitch heel, and it looks like this. Slip one. I know the yarn's on the left-hand side right now, but now that's more normal. Slip one, and then we're going to go knit one, slip one. That's how you slip one. Just pass the stitch to the right hand needle without working it. Knit one, slip one, until we come to like a visible gap in the stitches, and I'll show you what it looks like. Slip, knit, and you can just knit in stockinette stitch if you don't want to do this, a textured heel. Here's our gap right there, and we want to slip, slip, knit across the gap. Slip, slip, knit. There we go. And turn. Now we're going to slip one, this one right here, and then just purl across. So the, some of these will look weird, right, because we didn't knit them last time. Like, that looks a little weird because we slipped it. It's okay. Now we're going to purl it. We're going to do the same thing, when we, the same decrease, when we get to a visible gap on the other side. It's really nice. You don't have to count. You can just enjoy. See, there's the gap. I thought it was right there, right? But it's not. There's the big one right there. And these decreases are what are going to make the sort of edges of the heel flap. And this heel flap fits the heel really nicely and snugly. and It's more adjustable than a short row heel. All right, let's keep going. We're just going to repeat those last two rows. So we are going to slip one, knit one, slip one all the way across. So we are knitting and slipping the same stitches all the time. If we slipped it last time on the knit side, we're going to slip it again. That way it's going to make a, a row of sort of elongated stitches. It's going to look really nice. Did we end it on a slip one? Now it's time to do a slip, slip, knit across the gap. There it is. This time, you can see here's the edge of the heel flap starting to form. This time let's purl backwards. It'll be faster. 
So slip one instead of turning our work, right? Well, it's up to you, whatever you think is faster. I don't like to turn my work unless I'm knitting like more than 15 stitches. So we don't have to count, all we have to do is just watch out for the gap. Here it comes, there it is. Purl two together are easy when you're doing it backwards, it's just like purl one, but you go into both, and there we have it. And slip, knit, slip, knit, slip, knit all the way across. And as long as you end on a slip one, well, let's see, as long as you finish with slip none and then you have one stitch before the gap, then you are golden. So you can see that it won't take us very long to finish this entire heel flap. You're done when there's only one stitch left on the left hand needle when you're finishing a knit row. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like. I'll do a little bit on my own and then show you what it looks like when we're getting towards the end, although we are very close. So you purl those two together. And we're gonna work across again. Actually, let me show you really quick just what it's starting to look like. Hmm? What all these slips and knits are doing. See that nice little texture? These are the slipped ones. The ones right here, and then the ones that are a little bit more in are the knitted ones. So that is going to make your heel more durable. And also you can put whatever pattern you want in there, right? I have a few different heel stitch videos on Knit Freedom. But anything that your pattern calls for that, you, um, that you're using, you can use this. Like you can do the eye of the partridge heel or whatever. Let's see. Okay, and slip, slip, knit. So just repeat those two rows like that. See, it's starting to look like a heel. Oh, my goodness. And meet me when... When you're finished with a knit row, you only have one stitch left here. All right, so I'm nearing the end of the heel flap. As I come to the gap, you can see that there, after I finish closing it up with the last slip slip knit, there's one stitch left on the left hand needle. So we're just gonna knit that. There's the little heel. It's so cute. You're going to love this pattern. All right, so turn your work. Um, if you are doing two at a time, um, you're going to want to go on to the next heel before you do this, right? You won't be able to get here anyway. Can you see that I ran out of tail when I was casting on? I have a video about that too. Oh my gosh, it's like the app store now. There's a video for that. So we're going to knit across, we're going to knit across the instep, just plain. Remember, if you're doing two at a time, you won't be able to get to the instep because you'll have another sock on your needle. So just go, just starting from where we were, where we turn the heel and then do the heel flap, do that part on the other sock, and then you'll knit across both insteps, and then you'll come to the, we have one more decrease to do, which is why I'm doing this with you together. We have one last decrease. So turn around. And then so you'll do the last decrease for one sock and then the other sock like that. Whoops. Ha <laughs> ha. You know what's funny? I think I didn't count right. My heel my heel is off center. Oh well. Well oh no. I maybe I didn't distribute my stitches right. Anyway, this is what we're supposed to have. There we go. Like that. So one stitch on the edge. And then here you have two options. You can just do a knit two together like this. To actually that looks really good. Yes, just do a knit two together. You have one option. <laughs> and then you can just knit straight across the heel flap. We're done. We're done with the heel flap texture. All right. So that looks nice. It just perfectly continues the line just like that. So this is going to be the gusset. You can see this is sort of the gusset of your sock. When you do the whole thing, it's going to look like that, like a triangle like that with the little turn heel underneath. And because you are doing this heel flap, you can adjust it for a high instep. And I've got instructions on how to adjust it for a high instep in the pattern itself. But basically you start the you start the gusset increases earlier so that there are more of them. So you basically have like a higher heel flap. You, you knit further before 
you're done decreasing before you have this, the original number of stitches back on your needles. And that way you can add a lot more room, sort of mm, customize it um, if you have a high end step. All right, so we'll just knit all the way across, and then you'll, and then you will uh, resume just knitting plain um, or with whatever you know textured stitch that you may want to add to your sock. Remember, this is a basic pattern, so you can use it for whatever you can add, like colors and you know cables and lace and whatever. So, but there is the seamless, no holes, looks like a heel flap, but is way better toe up sock heel flap. Now, if you want to watch more awesome, clear, helpful videos like this, go to knitfreedom.com. Just click the link in the description below this video. Click it and sign up for the newsletter because there you will get a little video tip every week plus access to all these free patterns like all the basic socks, everything that you are going to want to learn to be able to knit anything that you want. All the basics, all the techniques, find them at Knit Freedom. See you there.